What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. In this video, it's gonna be a really awesome collaboration video with my girl, Morgan Law, including Andy Smiles. So what we're doing uh, as a trio is a day in the life of a bookkeeper and more specifically in the different styles of bookkeeping and the different uh, genre that we all three do. So each one of us is a little bit different. So come join us in this awesome collaboration. You can find links to their video down below in the descriptions. Uh, so come along with me as I take you into the day in the life of me. Good morning, guys. I am actually um, participating in our morning weekly PM meeting, uh, PM for project manager meeting. Um, a few of us accountants uh, in our company and our superiors, our CFO, we all participate in this meeting because accounting is needed when it comes to uh, collections, billing, things like that, taxes. And um, I also um, take care of a lot of our uh, collection side of our accounting and for our project managers so when they have questions about certain projects that they're working on um, if we're collecting things like that uh, we pipe in and we, you know we make sure we take our notes so this is my morning here luckily I can do that at home a lot of them do it at, um, from their location like our sales guys um, our project managers that are out on site they're able to participate you know by by computer or phone or something awesome like that so we are able to connect that way and um, amazingly our company you know that's what we do we do audio visual stuff and this is kind of our forte you know so we like to make sure that we can telecommunicate this way so yay beginning of the morning all right so now that my meeting is over i am headed into the office and i absolutely love honestly to work at the office. Because of the environment my company has kind of set forth, it's so chill and so relaxed. And honestly, my bosses and superiors are the best I've ever had in my life. I'm not even kidding. So here, uh, my first duty and task that I do when I first get in and start my computer is that I process our checks for deposit. Our CFO wants to see the money hit our bank first thing in the morning, so we have a really awesome remote uh, deposit machine where I can process all of our checks and get them right into the bank as soon as I sit down. One of the habits that I did break, and it took me a little while, was that I broke checking my inbox for new emails first thing in the morning because if I did that, then I wouldn't complete the checks and more times than not, I found myself forgetting about it until lunchtime. So because I wanted to, to create really good habits, I started doing it as soon as I got in. As soon as I sit down, everything's open and I get the checks in first because they usually put them on my keyboard. So good habits, good development. Um, I end up holding a lot of different tasks through the day because I'm the accountant there. I help with, I do my official title, FYI, is I'm their staff accountant. So I handle many different tasks and I help out almost every department in our company. So I've got my hand in um, kind of, I guess, everyone's plates. You know, kind of sounds gross, but you know what I mean. I help out everyone because my tasks require me to kind of jump all over the place. I want to show you guys my really cool 10 key. I have an ergonomic uh, keyboard. This is separate. And for those of you who are going to be working as a bookkeeper, an accountant, or in finance, anything with numbers, master 10 key if you haven't already. Practice, practice, practice. 10 key is the best skill you can have if you're working with numbers. And if you're a bookkeeper, I'm talking about you. So another really cool thing um, that I really love about working my day job and uh, having my business on the side is that we both do things paperlessly. So the tasks that I do for my day job and the things that I do for my bookkeeping business 
kind of keep me, you know, refreshed and up to date with new ways of doing things paperlessly. So it's kind of like, I don't know, they bleed together. So I get more hands-on experience and I get more, more, I don't know, more paperless training. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. More paperless training. So I think that's a really cool aspect of um, having this particular job and this particular company's policies kind of coincide with my own. So now that my work day is over for my day job, the first thing I do when I get home is I walk our dogs. Uh, this is just one of our two dogs. Her name is Nessie and she's hilarious. She's like the laziest dog in the whole world. She just likes to stand there when I walk her. So she's just the easiest dog to walk. And she's super funny. She doesn't like to walk in the grass. She would much prefer to walk on the sidewalk with me. <laughs> I don't know, this dog is crazy. Crazy hilarious. But I always try to get some things done and unwind before I actually get started on my bookkeeping business and get started with my clients. This particular day, I made some ramen for my daughter and I. So shout out to all you ramen fans out there. I'm a huge ramen fan. And a huge Harry Potter fan. So we hung out and ate our ramen, watched some TV and unwind a little bit. You know, shared some time together. And I do this usually before I start my business work day. Um, for my bookkeeping business because this time is important to me. All right, so now that I'm going to get started with my bookkeeping business, I am actually jumping on a call here with my husband's best friend who owns his own pool company. And what I'm doing for him is I'm providing him with a couple of things. It is a business consultation to go over what his current QuickBooks online bookkeeping looks like and answer some of his questions because like most entrepreneurs he wears all the hats in his company and he's been taking care of his own books so he has been wanting some guidance on how to clean that up and just have some general questions that of course those that don't have a bookkeeping or accounting background might have and they might be very easy so I'm having that conversation and then we go into talking about his bookkeeping future and how to go about doing that with my help. He's a really cool dude and I really love to help startup companies because I want to see them succeed and when my clients succeed, I succeed. So another couple tasks that I have set forth this evening is that I'm going to be knocking out some financials and daily transaction reconciliations for some clients. Uh, so that way I can knock out their reconciliations kind of on a daily pace for these two particular companies because they do so many transactions through the month. It's best that I don't wait till month end to reconcile, but rather do them a little by little uh, throughout the week so that way it doesn't just snowball on me. I feel like that's kind of the best way to go about certain companies because you definitely don't want to burn out. That's what I'm trying to avoid <laughs> at all costs. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to do a quick screen share and walk through of my next task for a brand new company that I have taken on as a client. And um, I think this will be just a little added bonus to my day in the life video. So enjoy. So a quick glance into what I'm doing right now. I just got a new client who, uh, they happen to be a volleyball club and they haven't reconciled their account Basically, they didn't officially have any kind of bookkeeping software or process at all in place uh, since 2018. So what I did for them is I went ahead, I met with them, and I'm going to be 
reconciling everything since they've started. And then I'm also in the, while I'm doing that, we're in the process of building their bookkeeping process and how we're going to do everything as far as financially moving forward. So what I did was I connected their bank account to this, to zero. Uh, I went and I had to block out their bank account number because, well, privacy, of course. And the last time we went in, I was only able to get up to June 25th, um, you know, as far as getting the bank feed going. That took me a little bit, but I don't need, you know, it doesn't need to be up to date just yet. I can start from, I need to start from the beginning. So I can start from the 20, uh, October 2nd of 18 and get started because I, you know, obviously I'm going to work from the past to the front, past to the future, to the present. Goodness. All right. And here I'm going to be receiving the money. I'm actually, because I am creating a new process and this is a brand new account, I'm going to be adding all this new fun stuff that you guys can watch me make and create. Uh, as I go about it. So here we go. The item code, I'm not sure what I want the item code to be. Uh, let's see, I sell this item. Let's say the item code is, let's go with uh, one, uh, yeah, let's about 10, let's go about a thousand. That's perfect. Item name, let's go club dues. Unit price, um, they don't really have a unit price, which is fine. This is going to be sales. Tax on sales, no tax because it's a service. So we're good. Zero on sales tax. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And okay, we do not track this. So there we go. We're going to save it. Club dues. Their quantity one, the unit price isn't filled in because we're catching up from 2018. I'm not going to put a unit price in to play just yet. What I want to do is I want to come back and I'm going to see all of these deposits. They have quite a few deposits and it's just deposits and other things, of course, purchases. But these deposits um, are strictly to do with uh, dues and payments to their club. So I'm going to basically receive the money in those quantities. So 279.74 is what I'm going to work with right now. And that's what I'm going to put in 79.74. There we go. Tax exclusive. We want it to show like that. Save and add another. Boom. So I'm going to go through this process for the next maybe 30 minutes or so. I probably can do this a lot faster. I'm just taking the time to show you guys right now and explain what I'm doing. So I am going to get started. And as soon as I'm done with this, we will catch up. All right, guys. So that's the end of my evening. I am about to call it a night. It's about uh, eight, eight ish now. So I got a lot of my things done. As soon as I got home, I made sure to make some time in between both my jobs to detox, make some dinner, hang out with my family, walk the dogs, and then start into my bookkeeping business. I do have a lot of things automated now, so I don't spend too much time doing things as manual as I usually used to do them because I'm trying to juggle clients. And if you do have the option to automate to make your life a little bit easier, I say go for it. Uh, also, just make sure that you're staying on task and that you don't let the tasks build up to one big gigantic mountain of things to do. I tend to spread out all of the things that I want to do uh, for the month and do little things as I go instead of one big project, one big close, and you know, one big reconcile for all the companies. I tend to spread it out and do little tasks in between so that I am slowly tackling you know, the huge mountain whatever analogy you guys want to use, but you kind of get it. If you let, if you put off what you can do today 
forth tomorrow, then it's just going to add to your list and it's going to burn you out. Another thing um, I do want to mention is that a struggle of mine as an entrepreneur and as just a bookkeeper, it's keeping myself motivated to do this. As most of you entrepreneurs out there know, when you don't have a big team, you might have to do everything by yourself, especially if you're first starting out. You're going to be doing the bookkeeping. You're going to be doing the marketing, the sales, the website, all of it. And you tend to be, you know, kind of the person that wears all the hats. So, you know, make sure you don't burn out. You'll find that motivation is sometimes really hard to come by. So make sure you're doing whatever it takes to keep you motivated. I listen to podcasts or some YouTube channels that I find inspiring to make sure that I feel pumped up. Um, when that doesn't work, you know, I switch it up. Maybe I'm going to go, you know, on a run or go to the gym or do something like that. Maybe even start doing yoga in the morning. I tend to mix things up so that I don't get stuck in the same routine and that I find every day, you know, more than just a struggle of balancing things because it is key. You want to balance your life. You want to make sure that you have enough time for your job. Well, at least for me, my job, my family, my other job, all the things that I need to do, you know, family is important, especially me for my culture. And I, I highly regard our family time. And I try to keep that private because the reason I'm doing all of this is because I want to live the life that I want, that I can control and that I'm the boss of, right? I think that's what everybody wants. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me some comments below if you have any questions. Uh, let me know what kind of challenges you have to face and you have to overcome as an entrepreneur or bookkeeper, both, whatever. Uh, let me know in the comments. And did I mention that this is another collaboration video with two awesome YouTubers. First is Miss Andy Smiles. And the second is Miss Morgan Law, who you might remember from a past collaboration video that I did with her. Both gals are extremely awesome. They both bring really awesome things to the table. Gosh, how many times am I gonna say awesome? And I think that having a perspective uh, from their view on how they deal with bookkeeping and their bookkeeping businesses, uh, with their backgrounds, you know, we have different lifestyles. It's, it's really refreshing, so you guys go check their channels out um, and you know make sure you support them as well as me because we support you guys and we're here for you, so make sure you go check them out. They're really awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> and I'm going to wrap it up tonight because I'm going to start this all over tomorrow, so I will see you later. Bye.